U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton will attend a meeting of the Russia NATO Council in Brussels on April 19. This will be the last major meeting before the big Russia NATO summit is scheduled to take place in Chicago in May. However, Russia's participation in this summit is still in question, and the major reason for this is BMD. The American BMD scheme for Europe, or the ballistic missile defense system that the U.S. is planning on activating in several Central European countries beginning in 2015, has long been a contentious issue between Washington and Moscow. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said recently that no agreement on missile defense is taking shape between Russia and the United States, and that the two countries are still at loggerheads over the issue. That Russia and the U.S. have not found common ground over the BMD issue for several years is not surprising. It represents a fundamental clash of geopolitical interests between the two countries. Russia's opposition to BMD is not necessarily over the technical aspects of the program. The BMD scheme is a defensive system ostensibly set up to counter long-range missiles from rogue states like Iran or North Korea and would not challenge Russia's nuclear capabilities. Rather, Moscow is more concerned about the associated U.S. military presence that would accompany BMD in strategically located states like Poland and Romania, among others. Given its exposure to these countries, Russia can't help but feel like such a presence would threaten its security interests, akin to the U.S. containment strategy during the Cold War. Therefore, Moscow has long called for U.S. to negotiate over the issue and allow Russia to jointly participate in the BMD system. So far, the U.S. has refused, knowing that this would undermine the very purpose of the program. In response, Russia has made a number of counter moves, including activating an S-400 strategic air defense regiment in Kaliningrad and threatening to build up offensive weapons such as mobile short-range ballistic missiles in Kaliningrad and Belarus. In the meantime, the Lithuanian president has recently turned down an invitation to participate in a pre-NATO summit to be held in Warsaw between Poland and the Baltic states. Poland and Lithuania are two key NATO countries in the BMD system, but they have a complicated relationship over a number of issues, including the treatment of the sizable Polish minority in Lithuania. One country that keeps a close eye on these tensions is Russia. Without yet being able to convince the U.S. to seriously negotiate over BMD and not looking to fundamentally break relations over the issue, Russia has sought to exploit such rifts between key NATO members in order to undermine the BMD system and the NATO alliance in general. Therefore, Russia's relationship and moves with each individual BMD participant and not just the U.S. is important to take into account. This is especially the case given that the U.S. is in election season and is not likely to budge on the issue until after the election, as U.S. President Barack Obama has recently hinted. Therefore, any Russian moves concerning other NATO members, such as Poland and Lithuania, will be particularly important to watch to gauge the status of the contentious BMD program.